Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about how I'm doing a little update on NF Treehouse and just generally how business is doing. So based on this title, you can tell that things did not go as planned. I wanna explain what happened, I wanna explain my plan moving forward and just how shitty it's been basically. So for a recap, for those who don't know, I run a project, a climate startup called NF Treehouse. We plant city trees each represented by an NFT. We launched two weeks ago. Thank you to the people that did buy a tree. Seriously means a lot. I know a lot of people love the idea, the mission, the project about, you know, driving climate action, but seriously, just, it means a lot to me. The people that were able to mint a tree, there were, were so many network downs and technical difficulties. So thank you so much for persevering through it. But essentially this video is not about all the good things that happen. I'll be going over what went wrong and you know how my startup and our team plans to keep moving forward and become more resilient. To sum it up, we launched right two weeks ago. This launch was for a private sale, which basically meant for a specific group of people that signed up to be at the wait list. The public sale was supposed to happen 24 hours after the private sale. So now that you have that context, none of this happened essentially because Polygon network went down, which basically Polygon is a blockchain we were minting under. Nobody in the whole world could get Polygon unless you already had it in your wallet. And we just so happened to launch on that very weekend. And it sucked. We launched on a weekend that was out of our control. Out of the 60 trees we were trying to sell, we sold 27 of them in the first three or four days, which is really good. I mean, I'm super, I, I wish we sold out on the first day, but I'm happy that we sold 27 for the state we're in. Now it's currently April 4th and we launched on March 19th. It's basically been a week and a half-ish without any sales. You know, I was really confused, really angry at myself, if anything, more. We had 300 people on our wait list, which is a lot of people I thought. And I'm so thankful for the amount of trees we did sell, but I don't know. I guess I'm just super hard on myself and I wish we sold more. As a team, we came together last week and figured out what to do. And we got some really good feedback. I asked you guys, I asked some of the NF tree holders that did buy a tree. What are we doing wrong? I feel like if you're a startup founder, feedback is so crucial, but it's also just really hard to accept and not take personally. So we're going to get some feedback together and hopefully this will inspire you to not be afraid to ask for help. Okay. So the first feedback we got is someone saying, I was confused about the launch date to the public. Why did the launch date keep getting pushed back? This happened twice. So it feels a little unsettling as an NFT holder and makes me think, is this product ever going to launch the public? A really good question. As you guys know, we had to push back the public day because people on the private sale slash waitlist weren't able to mint because of the Polygon network being down. So we kept pushing it back just because we didn't, wasn't sure when Polygon was going to go back up. And also, you know, as a team, we didn't feel super comfortable launching the public mint without selling at least 50 trees. So we're at 27. If we get to 50, we will put on a public mint. To be fair, our private is equivalent to a public launch, right? Like technically, uh, we're still opening up people. So if you want a tree right now, you can get on the whitelist. You can just DM me on Instagram. I can get you the whitelist. Uh, you can join our Discord. We can add you the whitelist. Like we're still selling. It's still launched. Like we will plant your trees this month in April. Totally our fault for not explaining this. You know, as a founder, I know that I could have been better at communicating and I will be better at that moving forward. I was expecting a lot more engagement, a growing community and hype by this point. So I feel a little bit disappointed. I totally get it. We only have under 300 people in our Discord and only under 500 people in our Twitter following. And I'm just gonna say, you know, it's really tough to grow the page. I know that we're not the best at engagement and I plan to do a lot better. So this week actually we're launching two influencer campaigns to generate more hype. One with Gabby Goldberg, who is a Twitter influencer with 60,000 followers, and Max Clemenko, who has 3 million followers on TikTok. He's an educator. Hopefully, you know, we can see more hype, but if obviously like I, you know, I need your help. We need your help. If you don't even have a tree, but you want to support the project, just share it. It truly means the world. I mean, we are not pocketing any profits from the tree planting. We got some feedbacks that our price was super high. Basically, we were selling these trees at 333 Matic, which is about 0.2 ETH, which is also around $450. $450 for anything in general is a lot. And you know, if you don't have the money, please do not feel pressured to buy a tree. You know, this is not supposed to be 
for me to make money. 100% of the proceeds will go to tree planting. Literally, if you guys don't know, we're planting trees in urban cities in Los Angeles. In LA, things just are more expensive. And also it's a pre-grown like seven foot tree, which is pretty big. It costs 300 to $350 just to plant it. And that's not even us taking a profit. And the only reason why we're upcharging a little bit is just so we can pay the artist who made the art of the NF tree collection. So that is our only motive. I know this might sound insane to some people, but when you think about it, you know, the average price of a little small tree in your front yard maybe might be like 50 bucks and a seven foot tree is around $300. I mean, it is in the range of like how it would cost to buy a tree. And also it pays for three years of watering for this tree. So your tree is protected. And we work with local tree planting partners. So the tree is not, you know, displacing indigenous land. Also the tree is providing you know, cool air and cleaner air quality for communities. So we are trying to serve the community in a positive way. And that's why, you know, we're planting a tree in those underserved communities that need the shade. Right now in Los Angeles, there's just a huge conversation around tree equity, which basically means, you know, trees are being planted in higher income neighborhoods, but maybe not the other neighborhoods. And we're trying to balance a little bit of that tree equity. And we believe that everyone should have a cool environment. So it is a lot, but we are a little different than a lot of the other tree planting projects that plant maybe a seed for a dollar, but then the tree never grows. And they actually, a lot of times dies. If it is suspicious, totally understand. I hope, you know, you never feel forced to buy a tree. It's really just for people who want to support the cause. I am considering working on ways to fractionalize a tree. So, you know, we can maybe, for example, take 20 bucks and turn it into like 0.1 of a tree or something. So like we can maybe work on that if you're interested, just comment below if that's interesting. Obviously we have people in the community that split trees with their brother and sister. Like we have a community member that did that. So team up with a friend group and, and maybe team up and buy a tree together. I know that's what I did. Um, we have people that split the cost of it. A lot of the money by cities will not go to these under-resourced neighborhoods. So we need people like you guys to buy these trees to help put into these neighborhoods. So that's my long answer of why the cost is the cost. Any leftover money we have from our treasury will go back into the community treasury where people that buy a tree can vote on what we do with the funds. I am working on potential roadmaps, but you know, one of the goals is for if you hold a tree, you get to vote on which city do we go next. Say you live in a city where we need more trees. Well, you have a say in that. So holding a tree is not just about having one tree. It's about voting about the future of the funds of our community and to keep creating more impact. The next question is when the fuck is the tree being planted? Okay, so if you bought a tree this round, and by the way, you are still able to buy a tree, you can DM us at F Tree House to get on the whitelist so you can buy. But going back to this, we are getting an official date for tree planting, uh, but it should be this month in April. So your tree will be planted. We'll also email you like coordinates so you can visit it or you can see it that it's in real life. Um, and you will be getting that very soon. What will my NF tree be able to do in the future? One of the things that I've been working on, having the ability for NF tree, not just to be one tree equals an NFT, but a way for people who are passionate about the environment, who are maybe curious about crypto and creators to meet together. You know, we are all a community of people who are builders, thinkers, creators, influencers, and I want to build a space where everyone can meet. So if you are a tree holder, we are working on monthly quarterly meetups, depending on what we decide as a community. I'm visiting actually a venue this Thursday at New Way House in Hollywood. And New Way House, if you guys don't know, is a huge social club that has four locations all over the States. Uh, there's a New York, Hollywood, Venice opening up. You know, we're visiting the space, so we potentially have a venue partner and you guys can meet and we can have this cool environment where every month or every quarter we have these events around social impact and web3 follow our discord if you want to know more and again i am trying my very best to be as responsive but thank you so much to marcelo and david who are our discord moderators for just being amazing always on it and responding to your guys's questions i also want to thank anyone who's given me feedback thank you like seriously thank you i know it's like it is uncomfortable for me to take, but it is so necessary for growth and I really do appreciate it. I think after getting a bunch of feedback from everyone, I realize what we need to do more of are three things. So the first thing we'll be improving is just how we'll be storytelling social impact and how NFT actually makes real life change. 
I think that starts with like really getting to know you guys and asking your questions. So again, if you have any questions, just comment below, discord me. I will try to get to all of them just so we know how to tell the story a lot better. The second thing that we plan to do and we know we're lacking on is a sense of community. I think we launched without having a community in place first. I know that. I think we wanted to launch to see what would happen and things happen. <laughs> I don't know if I would honestly change anything just because I learned so much from this process and I cannot do this without literally the team. Like everybody who, a part of this project has made such a huge difference. I think that experience was so valuable, just working with amazing people. And there's also other volunteers that have been contributing as well. Even though we have that team in place, I know all of us could do a better job at building the community. And I think that starts with having more events in real life in LA. And we're gonna be working on that for sure very soon. The third thing I think we're gonna plan to do is just partnerships. The most successful NFT projects partner with other DAOs and brands. I know so many people that hold an NFT were messaging me saying, hey, I work at Amazon. Hey, I work at Triller. I work at all these brands. Let me help you partner with these companies. So seriously, thank you guys so much for reaching out. I know what things aren't selling as fast as we wanted to, but I know that we're not trying to make money. You know, we're really not. I wanted to start this project to make impact, to really help the environment, to learn with you guys. I think with that being said, if you have a project or you want to partner in any way right now, uh, let me know, you can reach out. All right, so with that being said, I have totally learned a lot from this experience. Polygon, which is the blockchain we're minting off, is maybe not necessarily the most user-friendly, but we're still learning. Again, if you have any suggestions with anything you just said, just comment below. I am open for you to roast me and shatter my heart because I want this to work. I want enough tree to work. I don't even give a fuck about the money, it's really just like, how can we make this work? And it's okay if it's not perfect right now. It's okay if things are the way they are, because I know in the long term, the most successful projects will be related to meaningful impact, huge community, and really great founders. And I know that my team has just been killing it. So I believe in it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this update i hope this inspires you to ask for feedback if you're a founder and don't be afraid don't be afraid of it i know it's scary but don't be afraid for ask your feedback thank you guys for watching and shout out to the comment winner if you guys want to be the next comment winner comment below and i will see you guys in the next one